Hi, this is Matt from bpl24hour.com, and I just wanted to talk to you about the importance of customer service. Um, it's something that's often overlooked, but it's all. I know for sure it's costing you money, but it's something you're overlooking. Um, but also, you probably could convert a lot of negative sales into positives. Um, for example, I know myself when I call up a company and I get the, the fob off of, it's a seven day warranty, sir, if you email our department, we'll get back to you, blah, 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 blah. That is not customer service. Customer service is they want a point of contact today. They want a point of contact that when they call you, you're gonna fix the problem. They don't need to hear that somebody in another department will eventually look at an email and get back to you when it's suitable and convenient for them. What they want is somebody to deal with it. They are the customer. This is where a lot of the um, problems have happened in business in the last decade, where there's been a shift from helping and developing customer relations to passing the buck to the customer to sort things out themselves. Um, I know one of the big things being pushed at the moment is the the use of forums where companies are actually using them for problem solving, um, for basically getting customers to do their job for them. Me, I have no issue with forums being a useful tool, but at the same time, why the hell should I be on the forum getting a solution for a problem that you've created as the company? Um, for example, I know Google is one of the biggest ones where people are trying to get in touch with Google for some of the stuff Google gets up to, but they find it very difficult to contact Google because they make it as hard as possible to actually get in touch with somebody at the company. I'm not sure if this is for to stop them being sued because if you could actually get hold of people, you could actually, um, uh, what do you call it, um, issue them with papers um, because you'd have a point of contact to deal with. Um, but there's various ways that it could be done, and I know there's a lot of stuff that could be handled better, and it's not as expensive as people think. I know one of my VAs could handle your customer service via email, via Skype, via a Skype number, or via voice over IP number direct onto their, their computer system. They could actually save you money um, as well as make you money. Now, the reason I say save as well as make money is there is there is an underlying thing where people think customer service costs money. Customer service only costs money if you see no value in it. If you don't believe in it, it's something you shouldn't be doing. But the reality is, it's something everybody should be doing if you have a service. Now, if, if we take, for example, computer servers, which is one of the clients I was uh, working with in Australia, um, he primarily sells one-off products. They're very expensive systems um, they're ver for very specific customers. It's a very niche market, but one thing he will do is write down all his customer lists and he will go through that customer list on a weekly basis to check A, the customers are happy, but B, is there anything he can do for those customers. Now, those products are 90% of the time, a one-off. But if you get one sale um, out of one week, that could be $25,000. And the list only takes one to two hours to dial. The only issue is that some of the clients are in Australia, uh, some are in Europe, uh, in UK, and Germany, for example. But also, there is clients in the US and the Middle East. Um, so it's not a normal um, task that an employee could do uh, from his office in Australia because of all the different time zone differences because you'd actually have to be up at 2 a.m. just to be on a 10 minute uh, conversation and then later on in the day um, you, you, you're literally calling all the way through 24-7 at different times um, for different time zones. And the customer base is only maybe 160 people. But those 
types of things is where the customer has seen the value in making those calls. Now he's not doing it, he outsourced it to us to do. We, we do that for him. Um, it's not a problem for us because we work 24 seven. So I can put a price on uh, the calls. I allocate it on a fixed hourly basis. So it's X amount of hours and it's called every week. And what he, what he gets is a spreadsheet with all the calls that were um, made, who we spoke to, what we talked about, what their current condition of their service are. Um, for, when I say condition, I'm not about old or new, I'm talking about their current supplier, that's the types of server, some very technical information. But the whole point is that is good customer service. That is somebody following up on sales that they did previously for what we call existing customers, but there's progression there to open up new business. Now, that, that, although that's one example, the next example is something else we do. We have um, some residential work that we do for somebody else where the products are already sold. It's something that um, they buy annually, but there is add-on services. Um, yeah, well, let's just take um, doors and windows, for example. There, there is actually, when you get new doors and windows, there is actually a maintenance contract that's free for the, for the first year, um, where they'll come and check that the locks work and things like that. Because what you find with properties is during the winter, they contract and in the summer they expand. And they can affect the locks opening and shutting. Um, as well as any other uh, issues that may occur with the, the uh, doors and windows. So there is a program set in there for going there every X amount of months to go and check the doors and windows, check what, if there's any issues, because we're trying to fix the problem before there is one. Um, it, it is very good customer service because we're actually looking to make sure there is no uh, problem and no reason for the customer to be calling us for a problem because we're already proactively making sure that any faults are fixed before they even occur. But also while we're doing that, there's also the add-on services such as uh, window canopies, conservatories, um, porches, extensions. And all these end up going back through on a call service where we actually do um, a call back, uh, checking the customers are happy with the service they just had or when we're scheduling the service and ask them, are you looking at having a conservatory in the near future? Would you like them to give you a quotation while they're there next Wednesday servicing the doors and windows? All these things are extra customer service, but as you can see, it's not a case of just, hey, I've got a guy sitting there dealing with all the customer complaints. The guy is actually sat there proactively increasing your business. He's proactively generating not only new sales, but also retaining sales. Because client retention is one of the big aspects which often gets overlooked. Because they assume... Um, I, the way I see it is that business models have changed um, because I know, you know, back in the 50s and 60s, for example, people were like, oh, I'll get the same job for 30 years, etc., etc. Today, you might be in five jobs in five years because the whole environment's changed. But at the same time, if you're selling a product that has um, a retention value for keeping those customers, but on top of that, has another value where you can actually sell new products. Isn't it worth the customer service investment to keep those guys happy with you? Because I know um, it's very easy to find complaints online. It's not so easy to find people saying, they did a great job, I highly recommend them, they're fabulous, blah, blah, blah. But the fact is, if you're good at retention and good at customer service, you will generate those. You'll generate happy customers. Happy customers do tell other people. Because what happens is, Joe blogs down the street, 
complains that the guys that fit his doors and windows, he's got gaps, he's got drafts, he's got problems with them. He's called them seven times, they, they don't come out, they don't respond to his emails, blah, blah, blah. The fact is, we work the other way around, where we're actually going ahead, and it's like asking if there's any issues with the doors and windows, asking is there anything that we can do to make things better. Because they're an expensive investment. But also, you've got to remember, windows and doors don't last forever. So if they're happy with the doors and windows you installed 10, 15 years ago, who do you think is going to get the next batch of work and going to keep getting it as long as the customer service is good and the quality is good and the service is good and keeping the customers happy? Because the house model is something... Um, I believe is a very strong structure to work with because if you have a house model, it's just not just two walls, but the commodity is it has a cons the, the scope for a conservatory, it has a scope for home loans, it has the scope for solar panels, it's got solar water heaters, it's got um, doors, windows, conservatories, it's got um, painting and decorating, it's got a huge amount of potential for business if it's handled and developed right with customer service. Because a lot of people forget that you're selling doors and windows today, but tomorrow you might be opening your windows and blinds service. If you're doing windows and blinds, that is an excellent knock-on service for the conservatories, doors, windows, and that whole market for interior decorating. So, this customer retention and customer service is extremely important, but also it has to be cost effective. Making it cost effective is partly something that you can do by outsourcing it, because I know it's not cheap. I know it's not the cheapest thing to do, but it could be long term the one thing that separates you between your competitors and also will generate growth where your competitors may actually be losing sales. Because if you're always looking for the next sale, most people forget about the last sale. The last sale is the guy you already sold to. You know that guy buys from you. Why aren't you looking after him? You can get a VA here to deal with customer services. And we can have VAs on three different shifts, so you can actually be a 24-7 business. Which is not suitable for everybody, but it's suitable for many people out there. It's suitable for um, some of the clients that we deal with for emergency doors, windows, and um, lock replacement. They, they need those services on a regular basis. Oh, hang on a second. Sorry about this. They need those services. Sorry, my, I just had a pop up all over my screen so I can see what I was doing. Um, they need this 24 7 service to be available, but they're often only very small companies. Um, there might be one to five employees, but they actually have three VAs, because when the VAs are not doing the, the, call, the incoming calls, they're actually doing the accounting, the invoicing, and processing the documents, um, like for quotation, for example. We, we have quotation services where they're fixed quotations, uh, for a standard front door, for example, that these are very um, good customer service tools because it speeds up the whole process. Like I was saying earlier, when somebody says, I'll give you an email in a week, you know what will happen in a week? I go elsewhere. I want, an e I want an email, I want a call, I want a response within one hour. Because the fact is, I'm a very busy person, and most people are busy these days. They don't want to sit around waiting for the convenience of some big company that doesn't really care about its customers. They want the person that actually cares about them. And that's why our customer service is very, very focused on making sure customers are happy. Because customers are happy means your business grows, but just as much it means my business grows. The business here will only develop if your customers are happy. That's why customer service is so important uh, for BPO24Hour.com, but it also is important for your business. Um, thanks for listening, and that's Matt from BPO24Hour.com.